Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use the polygon tool to create an interesting frame design and honeycomb effect with an image. Now, I've got this image here, and first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to Edit and Define Pattern. So click OK. Now I'm just going to go to a new document, basically the same size as the earlier image. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly create a polygon tool and set that to black. And I'm going to set the number of sides to six. So right, you've got the shape layer of polygon design and just create that and just stop there. Right, that's the exterior, the outside bit of the frame. Now I'm just going to go to layer and duplicate layer. Click OK and resize that using bounding box. Now, now just align that, just select both and then just go to alignment tools over here <coughs> and align vertical and align horizontal. Now what you can do, and I'm going to change the outside one and I'm just going to change the colour. So I'm just going to quickly go to polygon tool and the quick way of doing that, just set that maybe to red. Okay, so I'll go for a red one there and this interior one, I'm just going to select that and set the fill. Instead of a colour, I'm actually going to be using the pattern that I've just created. So there's the actual design there. Now I could go with black, but the image is quite black anyway. It makes it very hard to actually align everything. So just select that and select that. See that both selected there. And I'm going to resize. Now I've got smart guides on. And I'm just quickly going to show you view and show smart guides. Now you don't particularly need that. You can align it visually very easily as well. But okay. What I'm going to do now is hold the Alt down with both those selected. And you can see you've got smart guides there appearing. But you can just align it up and down and just put it there. Hold the Alt down and just align it there. And again there. And over there. Now I could of course fill the entire image with this design. But I'm just going to stop at a certain point otherwise extends the video a bit too much. So you can just align it. Now you don't have to be perfect of course. You can just move it slightly. Create some thicker than, than others. Up to you. Depending on how much time you want to actually spend aligning. Now what you can do then. You can just go over to say one of those ones that's actually got the pattern, you just select there, and just go to a layer and layer content options. And then once you've got that, you can actually, of course, change the pattern as well. You can see I've got actual copies of that. You don't have to change that because it's quite a big design. You can move it around now. So you can just quickly, you can see the pattern seam there. But you don't have to have that, of course. You can just put, like, say, the nose there. And then go down to that one and go to layer, layer content options. And again, move that around maybe make the eye there. And again, select that one. Again, make certain you've got that one selected and layer and layer content options and move around, maybe select a different part of the image. And you can continue that obviously for each of those images there. So create a sort of like insect eye, honeycomb effect. And of course you can also quickly go back and change these reds. If you don't want red, you can go and make it see black or green. I just use red to actually make it easier to see the actual honeycomb effect. And there you have it. Once you've done that, you can then just go to a layer and flatten image. And that's it. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.